Hey everyone, it's Vincent here, and in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the differences between a $100 knife and an $800 knife. Now we get a lot of people that come into a store and they're looking for their first knife and they think they need to spend a lot of money. So I'm going to talk to you about the differences between the two knives, the two price ranges, and you can decide what's going to be the best fit for you. So the first knife I got here, this is the Togiharu Molybdenum series. Um, this is a around $100 knife and this is the knife that I actually use at home. Now it's a cheaper knife because the metal is a softer steel. When you have a softer steel, it's easier to sharpen. The trade-off is that it doesn't hold its edge for as long. But for my needs, for a home cook, this is more than enough. And what I love about it is that it's so easy to sharpen. Now, just to give you some perspective, uh, I would say I cook around three or four times a week. You know, when I get home, I'm prepping dinner, and I'm using my knife for maybe five minutes, 10 minutes at most. So even though it's a soft steel, I haven't sharpened my knife in close to two years at this point. Again, this works very well for me and it gets extremely sharp. I can bring this to a finer grit stone, 6,000, 8,000, and it's gonna cut through my chicken skins or tomatoes, and I'm gonna have no problems at all. If you work your way up to a more expensive knife, like this $800 Nenox, you're gonna get a few more perks, right? The main difference is the steel quality. Now, Nenox is known for their superior, uh, superior steel quality. So you're getting a very fine grain steel, which makes your knife sharper. If you have the right tools, meaning the right stones, you know, a very fine like 10,000 or 12,000 grit stone, this knife will respond really, really well and you're gonna achieve really buttery smooth like cuts. But for my needs, again, I don't need it. If you're a professional chef, that might be something that you're after. So that's when you wanna go for this. Another thing, this knife is gonna hold its edge a lot longer. If you're cooking a lot or if you're, again, a professional in the kitchen and you're using your knife, six, seven uh, days a week, you know, this, this, you want that uh, longer lasting edge. You don't want to sharpen all the time. So this is again, a, a reason why you might want to go for the more expensive knife. And lastly, you're going to get, you know, a really nice handle. So this one right here is a uh, cow shin bone. They're all hand dyed, hand stained, and they're all unique. And this is again, something that you're going to get with this price point. These two are a little extreme. We do have price uh, knives right in the middle, right? Like three, $400 that might be the best for you. But I think it's important for you guys to really understand the differences and choose what's gonna fit your needs the best. 